IB, connecting dots, international baccalaureate and UNESCO educational objectives. Research on IB concludes, IB has a socio-political agenda geared toward creating the following in kids. Collectivist mindset, global citizens first with concern for social and environmental justice, openness to change, agents for social change. IB is currently in Westwood High, Frost Elementary and Hendrix Junior High School in the East Valley. So who or what is International Baccalaureate? IBO is a UN related non-governmental organization from Switzerland. Requirements for a group to be an NGO include it shall be engaged in activities in one or more specific fields of UNESCO's competence and it shall be able and willing to make an effective contribution to the achievement of UNESCO's objectives. An NGO is required to keep UNESCO regularly informed of those of their activities that are relevant to UNESCO's program and of the assistance given by them to the achievement of UNESCO's objectives. What the UN says about education. Five UNESCO mandates to its education-based NGOs, including IB, downplay nationality in teaching lest the kids identify too strongly with their country. Teach peace, defined by the UN as more than the absence of war requiring social equity redistribution of resources. Teach sustainable development, putting resources out of reach and redistributing others under the guise of social and environmental justice. Teach local to global activism and execute UNESCO's education objectives and report back to UNESCO on activities and results. UN Education, Additional Background UN began studying implementation of global education in the 1940s, publishing UNESCO's handbook, Is There a Way of Teaching for Peace? by Marie Therese Moret, then director of the International School of Geneva, predecessor to IB. Ms. Moret emphasized the need to downplay nationality, to get children to identify with and form allegiance to a global perspective. Ms. Moret emphasized teaching community action a major component of the IB and PYP programs. Moret had radical ideas about history which she insisted should not be taught before the age of 12 if it was to avoid becoming a gallery of dubious national heroes as long as the child breathes the poison air of nationalism, education and world-mindedness can produce only rather precarious results. As we have pointed out, it is frequently the family that infects the child with extreme nationalism. The school should therefore use the means described earlier to combat family attitudes that favor jingoism. IBO's Director General George Walker in 2005 highlighted Madame Moretz's legacy to the IBO, stating it was no coincidence that IB grew out of her ideas on teaching. The special kind of history needed to combat nationality, community activism by children and youth, consistency of message and fusion among all curriculum areas, including the hidden curriculum of international education goal to create the true global citizen. The goal is to create a true global citizen with the ability and attitude that wants to shift another's position as well as their own. For me, citizenship implies action. This was by the Ivy Director General George Walker. Young people need to feel first of all global citizens second, national citizens, and third, local citizens. Teaching values is a fundamental part of IB, including the universal values IB teaches are those found in the UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 
not the U.S. Constitution. Peace through disarmament, social justice, and sustainable development. Openness to change, noted in Ivy's learner profile. Compulsory community activism, required for Ivy Diploma at the Hayden Meadows Elementary, among others. We the undersigned endorse the Earth Charter. We embrace the spirit and aim of the document. We pledge to join the Global Partnership for a Just, Sustainable, and Peaceful World and to work for the realization of the values and principles of the Earth Charter. We pledge to join the Global Partnership in support of the Earth Charter Initiative for a sustainable way of life and urge all governments to endorse Earth Charter. IB endorses the Earth Charter. The Earth Charter is housed in the Ark of Hope and is correctly identified by the World Pantheist Association as a pantheistic document. Besides pantheism, the Earth Charter advocates the redistribution of wealth between nations and within nations, same-sex marriage, spiritual education, which means education in pantheism, military disarmament, creation of an international agency to make the Earth Charter binding on all nations in the Way Forward Action Plan. Here's what IB educated children say. I would also make people ride their bikes or walk. I would get rid of factories and spaceships because they pollute the air. No manufacturing plants. I would have people ride their bikes all the time. I would have people get rid of their cars and I would want to help clean the world. I would stop loggers from cutting down trees. I would save all the animals in the world by taking away some buildings to make more animal reserves. I would give everyone the money they need. I would change the world by putting a stop to global warming. I'd stop slavery in other countries by making everyone feel equal and so on and so forth. Yeah. So what can I do? Elect new board trustees who didn't drink the Kool-Aid. Keep track of the money spent on IB and the number of IB diploma recipients. Double check any stats out by the district to promote IB. The tendency to double count and exaggerate by using percentages instead of actual numbers is prevalent in IB. Inform taxpayers who don't have school-aged children how their money is being wasted on IB. Write letters to your local paper. Question with boldness. Hold to the truth. Speak without fear. As Americans, we are blessed with the right to own property and in most cases the right to have a voice when it comes to public education. The progressives who support IB count on the trust and apathy of busy parents to rubber stamp their agenda without question. With billions of dollars at stake, we can no longer afford to sit by silently. For more information about the International Baccalaureate, visit these websites, truthaboutib.com, edwatch.org, eagleforum.org, parentalrights.org.